If you're trying to share your location with somebody, but it says there's no active device, even though you're on your iPhone trying to share your iPhone's location, I'm gonna walk you through some steps to definitely get that fixed. Now, you might see a screen that looks like this. You can see this just screenshot, it's here. It says no active device used for your location. You can check for it in the settings in the Find My. But you might be wondering where that is and why there's no active device. So. We're gonna head into your settings here. Open up the settings app on here, and we're gonna to go to the Find My Settings and Location Settings by scrolling down and tapping on Privacy and Security here, midway down. After you've done that, we're gonna choose Location Services at the very top. The first thing we'll make sure is your location services are turned on. This allows your iPhone to track your location for various apps, including the Find My app. So if that is toggled off, just toggle it back on. Now, the next thing that we will do is you can see share my location, the third option, just tap on that. Now, a couple different things, tap on find my iPhone and make sure everything is turned on here. So if you have anything toggled off, just toggle everything on. The next thing that you'll do is go back out of here and you can see right under location is share my location. Make sure that is toggled on as well. So now we've turned all those on, but potentially screen time is messing things up as well. So let's go back out here to the very beginning. And from here, let's scroll down until you find screen time on this list. Tap on screen time. Scroll down again and tap on content and privacy restrictions at the very bottom. Now from here, I would recommend just toggling this off. This can cause issues with sharing your location depending on the specific location services settings in here. Now, if you go through all these steps and it's still not working, it's still showing this error, no active device, then I would recommend going back out here to the very beginning, tapping on your name at the very top, and from here, all you're gonna do is scroll down and hit the sign out button. So sign out of your account, your Apple ID or your Apple account here, sign out of it on your iPhone and immediately turn around and sign back in. Sometimes there are bugs or glitches, but by signing out and then signing back in, it almost always fixes those bugs or glitches.